Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly build an echo report. This is a highly requested video from all of you, so let's start. First, you have to know how to organize a report. And this report should include demographics, measurements, observations, and conclusions. Starting with demographics and other relevant data, age and gender are essential in your echo report. Height, weight, and body surface area are ideal and essential when indexing volumes and effective orifice areas. Heart rate and blood pressure. Comment in the rhythm, for example, if the patient is in sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation, is the patient tachycardic, bradycardic, and also if you can see during the study any ectopics, triplets, couplets. And indications. Why this echo has been requested? For example, palpitations, new murmur, or maybe recent valve replacement. The measurements are the most important part of your echo report. In this section, you have to include all the measurements you have done by Doppler, M mode, 2D, 3D, 4D, and by other modalities like strain. Measurements and dimensions are used to diagnose a pathology. Quantify an abnormality, determine a treatment, and monitor a disease progression. In this section, you can write anything related with your echocardiogram. The observations allow another echocardiographer to visualize your study. First, you can report about the technical quality. How are the windows? The patient had good or poor echo windows. All the views are normal or you have to do some of axis views. Second, is there any limitations? For example, if the patient was unable to lie down flat or if you couldn't get any of the images you could write in the report, unable to get subcostal views. Third, some examples of normal variants are a prominent Chiari network or a trivial tricuspid regurgitation. And fourth, how was the patient during the echocardiogram? Was the patient alert, collaborative, unconscious or confused? And finally, the conclusions. The most important thing in the conclusions is answering the question. If the echo was indicated to assess the pulmonary pressures, you have to put this information in the conclusions. All this information has to be easy to understand and should include all the important findings. Exclude not significant findings in this section, like for example, any mild regurgitations or any mildly thickened of the valves. If any urgent action is required, you can write this in the conclusions, like for example, patient needs urgent cardiology referral. And also, you can make any recommendations here, like for example, if you find an aneurysmal interatrial septum, you can recommend to the person who requested the test to perform an echo bubble study. And this is how to build your report. Basically, you can divide your report in four different sections. One section for the demographics, another section where you can write all the measurements, another section for any observations related with the echocardiogram, and finally, a section for your conclusions. 
I hope you like this video. As I say, this was a highly requested video. And don't forget to like this video, leave me any comments and subscribe. Bye.